guys welcome to my channel um welcome to week five postpartum vlog um it has been five weeks actually it's been over five weeks tomorrow it's going to be six weeks and i'm just now recording this to be honest um, it's been a crazy last two weeks as we've been closing on our current um, condo that, where we live and we're getting ready to close on our, um, well, get all the paperwork together to close on um, our new house that we will be moving to next week. So anyways, that is what's happening. So. Of course, I had to write everything down because postpartum brain is still in full effect. What's been new in week five? Week five has been not without its challenges, unfortunately. Um, my anxiety has come up quite a bit. Um, I've been struggling. Um, I know I talked about this in last week's vlog about when Ethan cries a lot and um, I can't console him, my anxiety goes crazy and and then I like say horrible things like, why won't you shut up or, you know, what's wrong? Why can't, you know, and then I feel crappy and so I had a couple other episodes similar to that where I started feeling myself you know, getting that way, and I had to put him down and walk away, and it sucks. It really does when I'm in that state because I don't, well, you know, who likes being in that state? Nobody does. But I've managed to, um, when I when I get to that point or when I'm right to that point, um, I know to like put him down, walk away, give myself some grace and some downtime before I come back. And yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been really hard. Um, my anxiety plays out in when I have, so at night time, it's worse at night than during the day, but at night when it's my turn to watch him or take care of him during the night, because my husband and I take turns, I have a hard time relaxing and going to sleep when he's in his um, bassinet. And so I, I, um, I start relaxing and going to sleep and then my brain kicks in like go check on him because he might not be breathing and then I'm like oh my gosh oh no okay he's breathing all right go, go, to, go to sleep or there's that and then there's the other part where it's like you need to go to sleep why aren't you asleep because he's gonna wake up in a couple hours and need to feed you need to be asleep and and then that just causes me not to sleep <laughs> and then I finally shut it down and just as I doze off to go to sleep then he wakes up and then I have to then I'm pissed off because I've been woken up <laughs> so I, I'm pissed off at myself that I didn't go to sleep earlier so <sighs> I don't know why I do this to myself but it's it's been bad so What I've been trying to focus on is making sure that when it's my turn to sleep, like the first half of the night, I have like four to five hours that I can sleep. And I try my best to get the four to five hours if I can. When I do and I get that big chunk of sleep I can handle the rest much better and what was happening 
is when I had that big chunk of sleep, I wasn't getting the sleep because I was either on my phone or I was, you know, worrying about stuff or online shopping or something. And so what I've been trying to do is read before bed and journal um, or write stuff um, in my notepad on my phone um, as my thoughts come. Because sometimes it's hard for me to like grab a pen and my journal and write in it. When it's dark in my room, I don't want to turn the light on. <laughs> so I just write my notes on my phone and try not to be you know, scrolling on Instagram or shopping, that sort of thing. So reading and also during the day, reading um, and doing creative things. My um, other creative thing that I've been doing is crocheting. I'm trying to finish up a scarf that I started last year for my daughter for, and I'm trying to finish it up for her. I'm almost done. Um, I've done like almost half of it in the last week and a half. So um, I've been crocheting. I love crocheting, well, especially when I'm watching TV. I love to crochet because then I feel like I'm not just sitting there idly on the couch. And when Ethan falls asleep on my lap, that's a good time to just sit and crochet. So I've been crocheting or reading um, just to get my brain um, time to decompress before bed. And so then when it's time for me to go to bed, within a half hour I'm asleep. And I tend to sleep for four or five hours. Last night I slept close to five hours. So, um, I'm in a much better state when I do that. The other thing I started doing is going for walks. So um, I went for a, um, I've been going for walks at this nature park that's close to us at least every other day. I'm trying to, although we didn't, today we were supposed to go today and we didn't, but I, I went shopping um, with my daughter and we walked around downtown Gresham a little bit so I did get a little bit of exercise but um, yeah so there's that um, although I can't go for too long of a hike or walk because um, I have some pain I'm still having a lot of pain in my pelvis so um, this week I'm gonna go see my midwife to find out what's wrong and um, I, I think I need to go get some pelvic PT. So, yeah, my sleep, um, I'm getting more sleep now, but like last week, in week five, um, yeah, I wasn't getting enough, and I felt my anxiety going up because of it. We also had Thanksgiving. It was a really relaxing Thanksgiving. Um, we just stayed home. Some friends brought us um, several side dishes and some pumpkin pie. And then I had a vegetarian uh, field roast in the freezer that we popped in the oven. And we had some Thanksgiving, just the four of us. It was really nice. And I got a nap, so I was really thankful for that. Um, so yeah, there's that. And... Um, Oh, one of the things, because Ethan wasn't sleeping very well, and um, so I ordered him last week, and I got it, um, nested bean swaddle, and it has, like, when he's swaddled, his hands are, like, in this little sack, like this, and what the nested bean has is a little pouch that has, like, it's like some, I don't know what's in it, sand or whatever, or beans. I don't think it's actual beans, beans, but anyways, it sits in a little sack on his chest, so it, um, what is the word? 
it feels like someone has their hand. He does sleep well if I put my hand on his chest. Um, so he, it, that swaddle has helped him. Um, it, it definitely helps him calm down and put him to bed sooner um, because before, like I would in just a traditional swaddle, it I would have to rock him for hour, you know, almost an hour before he finally would go to sleep at night. Um, this time, like within minutes, he's out. Like I'll put him in that, nurse him, and then he's out. So it's been awesome. Um, yeah, so I re definitely recommend that. And he seems to sleep longer at night. Not, that's why we're getting these five hour, um, four hour, five hour chunks. Of course, it's, it's funny. Um, the time when my husband has to take care of him, that's when he sleeps the longest. And then when I have to take care of him, he's up every two hours, of course. <laughs> oh well. Um, so yeah, that is week five yeah so um yeah i will record probably in the next couple days week six and give you guys an update on that but um that is what's up um thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and um i'll see you in the next video bye guys